Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I am Anne, you're on Centolutions underscore M-E. We talk all about affordable perfumes here. So if that's your jam, if you like affordable perfumes, you're definitely in the right place. Today we're talking unisex perfumes. But before we do, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please, please don't hesitate to click the subscribe button and the notification bell because I noticed that most of you don't get notified when I post the video. So I'd appreciate if you can click on it. So you know when I post, let's get into today's video. Guys, today I wanted to share with you unisex perfumes from the Middle Eastern houses. I mean, we all know Middle Eastern perfumes are all the rage right now. Everybody's talking about them. They're viral on social media platforms. Oh. But I wanted to just bring to our attention five perfumes that you can share with your partner or if you don't want a perfume that leans too much in one direction when it comes to masculine, feminine, these perfumes, I think, will do the trick. So I'm going to start with um, this one. And it's called Anarch from Maison Alhambra. So this Anarch is like a green, citrusy, woody, earthy perfume. That's like the summation of this smell. Starts off quite bright, quite effervescent. There's bergamot in the opening. So it starts off greenish and bright. There's grass in there. So that's the greenness. There's the bergamot that gives it that sparkly opening. And then in the middle, there's the rose. There's some peach in there. So you're going to get some fruitiness in the middle. You're going to get a little bit of florals. At the base, it gets really woody. There's sugar, vanilla, amber. So it's a real potpourri of notes. But like I said, the greenness, the green citrusiness, the woodiness, that earthiness is what you'll get as this perfume dries. Now, when it gets to the final dry down, you're gonna get Epipura. So that very musky, fruity, vanilla-y Epipura. That's what you're gonna get at the bottom. That's really the summation of this perfume. So if you haven't used it, that is it in a nutshell. Long lasting and all of that, it's long lasting, stays a bit close to the skin, obviously, so it's not heavy projecting, but this is a perfect unisex perfume. If the beginning is more masculine, the base, I think, is more feminine leaning because that's where it goes into the Epipura realm. So it will give you the best of both worlds, <laughs> depending on how long you're willing to wait. But definitely a man can pull this off or somebody who loves masculine perfumes can pull this off. Somebody who loves feminine perfumes can also pull off Anak from Maison Alhambra. If you want a more detailed review, I've got it on my channel so you can check it out. Next up, we have Missal with Love. I used to call this Misral with Love for the longest time. This looks like a, like a stamp. I love this bottle. It is beautiful. It's just really ornate. I love. Anyway, so this is Caramel herbal notes, green notes. Notice that most of the unisex perfumes have a lot of green notes in them. You'd see things like vetiver. There's an abundance of amber, woods. You know, those are typical, you know, the typical DNA of masculine perfumes. But then you'd also find some fruitiness and some florals, just something to add a feminine twist to it as well. Now for this one, this is another Baccarat Rouge smell alike. I was talking about the notes. I don't know if I finished, but um, like I said, caramel, herbal, green at the top. At the mid, you have agar wood, so that's oud. You've got woody notes and floral notes. Then at the base, you've got moss. So there's a mossiness in here. There's amber and musk. What do I smell? This is a Baccarat Rouge smell alike, most definitely. So you're going to get that saffron oud quality of Baccarat Rouge, but this smells somewhat sweeter and more vegetal. There's a sugary note in here for some reason. It's just, it's sweet and green at the same time as having those Baccarat Rouge qualities. So you're getting the Band-Aid scent that Baccarat Rouge has, but in a sweeter way and an earthier way. 
And the oud in here is similar, you know, to what you have in perfumes that mimic Baccarat Rouge, but it's a bit more fecal. So it's very earthy. It's a lot less refined than Baccarat. So, but not in an off-putting way. It's just a lot more fecal, okay? But not off-putting. Again, moderate projection, moderate sillage. I feel like this lasts... I don't know, somewhere between four or five hours. But it's a nice perfume. I really, really like it. I like this twist to that Baccarat DNA. I think it's an interesting twist to the Baccarat DNA. And very, very unisex. Anybody can wear it. Next up, we have this one. This one has a very dramatic box. Unfortunately, I don't have the box here. But then it comes in the middle of like a a book, a box that is designed like a book with some papers. It's really interesting. Anyways, this one has tobacco. It's Adib from Latafa and it's got tobacco, cinnamon, vanilla. So you can already see the masculine facets. Then it's got spices, thyme, smoke, agarwood, herbal nuts, notes and cloves. And then it's got patchouli, cedar, sandalwood, musk and black amber. So this actually leans more masculine, in my opinion, than feminine. And it's, it gives me green, bitter, zesty citrus opening. So the opening to me is green, is slightly bitter, is very zesty and citrusy. And then in the mid, it's quite spicy with the thyme and the cloves. So you're getting all of that. Then... You're going to get sweetness from the vanilla and then, of course, some woodiness. So the vanilla is going to give it that sweetness that will add a slightly feminine touch to this. But a lot of the notes in here are more masculine leaning. And to me, this perfume leans more masculine, but will pair very well with some sweeter feminine perfumes if you wanted to add like a different twist to them. Yeah. Adi by Latafa. Another moderate performing one, I wouldn't, I'm not talking too much about performance here because I've talked about all this perfume. So if you want to know more, you can go into detail in my playlist. Okay, next up, I have this one that I find to be a very great perfume. This is Vu Elegante and it's from Emir Paris Corner, from the Paris Corner line anyways. It's a Zerjov Naxos dupe and it's a citrusy, lavender vanilla perfume right citrusy lavender vanilla with honey and tobacco leaves that's in a nutshell what it is it's got some jasmine and some lemon as well to add you know some interesting components to this perfume definitely in the same vibe as something like YSL's Libre, if you're familiar with that. They are not smell alikes, but because they both have lavender and vanilla, they have the same vibe. So this will give you two, three hours on skin, maybe six on your clothes. It's, you know, it's similar to the newer formulation of Zerge of Naxos. Again, I have a detailed review of this versus the two formulations of Zerge of Naxos. I have those details in a video on my channel so watch that if you want to have a more detailed comparison this is i mean naxos is creamier richer it's more indulgent maybe heavier on the tobacco vanilla but vo elegante is beautiful in and of itself i feel like this is another very balanced one the facets in here that make it lean a bit more masculine so those tobacco leaves maybe um the lavender as well, but then you have other notes that give it a feminine twist as well. So the honey, the vanilla, you know, those ones make it smell a little bit feminine. I feel like anyone can pull this off. I'm not big on very masculine perfumes and I can pull this off very, very well. So I feel like anyone can pull this off. It's definitely a very bold statement making perfume. So if you want to make a statement, you want to own the room, this is one of those. And a man and woman, anyone can pull this off. Last for today, we have just bergamot from the emir factory edition series now this is 
bergamot, vetiver, grapefruit. This is a very, very citrusy perfume. It's heavy, heavy, heavy on the bergamot, but then there's some facets in there that make it more grounded, give it more depth. So then you have the hot notes of orange blossom, pedigree, amber. At the base, you have musk, cedar, vanilla. To me, what I smell is a citrus vanilla, and I really, really love this perfume. I did not understand it at first, but then I let it macerate for a while, and then I sprayed it again after a few months like I really really started to get that warm vanilla after the initial citrus burst and it's so beautiful citrus and vanilla done well is really warming very very enveloping and that is what this is so it's masculine and feminine at the same time because there are notes in here that would appeal to a nose that prefers masculine perfumes. But then the vanilla, you know, the orange blossom would also make it very beautiful on somebody who likes the more feminine perfume. So again, I consider this to be a perfect unisex perfume. Um, it's a bit more on the softer side when it comes to performance. It's not very heavy hitting, but it's surprising because there's vanilla. So it definitely performs better than your average citrus perfume. But again, most of these perfumes I've talked about today, they're not going to give you um, too much in terms of longevity. They're things you might have to spray again after four hours. But then while you have them on, they're very beautiful. Very, very, very beautiful. All right, guys, there you have it for today. I talked about my five unisex perfumes that you can buy and share let me know what you think in the comments do you know any other unisex perfumes you want to recommend till i see you on another video stay fragrant enjoy the rest of your day or night bye